Hi, welcome back. Today I'd like to attempt to demystify referred pain. Referred pain is a scenario where pain is experienced in an area which is distant to the cause of that pain. And the reason that it happens is because the two sites are served by the same nerve and the brain receives a bit of a confused signal. So it perceives that the pain is actually coming from an area further out in that receptive field of the nerve. Uh, pain referral sites uh, are common throughout the body. The one that I'd like to focus on today is uh, in relation to the spine. So in the model of the spine here, we can see a representation of a bulging disc. The disc pushes upon a nerve root. So the disc bulges in red, the nerve root yellow, and then subsequently pain is felt down the back of the leg. So this is the type of situation we come in, someone will come in and say, I've got a trapped nerve. Now those nerve roots there join up deeper in the pelvis and then form the sciatic nerve and come down the back of the leg. So if the disc is bulging and it's putting pressure on the nerve, there will be referred pain. If it's severe pressure, then there will tend to be nerve symptoms which are pins and needles and numbness or in a severe case, uh, loss of muscle power. So in the consultation with the physiotherapist, generally it's the way in which symptoms are described which will indicate the, the cause of the referred pain and then the examination process goes on and confirms that. And uh, of course then treatment will begin. Now, um, if you'd like to know a little bit more, if you're a bit more curious, I've got greater detail in my blog which is at www.swintonphysio.com. Go there and read it now, it's awesome.